my apology. America's most loved newsman just got caught in a lie, and boy, are people reacting. The helicopter we were traveling in was forced down after being hit by an RPG. NBC News' Brian Williams apologized on Wednesday for claiming that he had been in a U.S. military helicopter that was shot down by RPG fire in the early days of the Iraq War, a story he's been telling for many years and as recently as last week. Things changed this week when military newspaper Stars and Stripes set the record straight. A helicopter was shot down, but Williams wasn't in it or anywhere near it. He was in a separate one that arrived in the area about an hour later. I made a mistake in recalling the events of 12 years ago. Oh, right. That wasn't me that was shot down in a helicopter. Williams didn't actually report he was shot down back in 2003, but as the years went by, his story got a bit more elaborate. Two of our four helicopters were hit by ground fire, including the one I was in. Journalists and non-journalists alike slammed the star anchor on Twitter, like Jillian Keenan, who said, this time it really is about ethics and journalism. CNN's Brian Stelter tweeted, at the end of the day, a lot of doubt that Brian Williams could have innocently misremembered an RPG attack in Iraq. And Liliana Segura said, troubled by this Brian Williams news, what if other reporting around the Iraq invasion was a lie? Some looked at the bigger picture, like Rob Delaney, who said, can't quite remember what it was, but I seem to recall hearing bigger lies about Iraq than this Brian Williams one. Hmm, it'll come to me. Others took a more humorous tone with the hashtag Brian Williams memories. Jeremy Scahill joked, correction, I didn't storm the beach at Normandy. I just had a friend named Norman. And in another tweet, I said, Martin, do you dream? He said, yes. I said, We'll tell the folks about your dream. But jokes aside, many are wondering where his career goes from here. If journalists who are entrusted by the public to report the truth fail at doing so, should they be allowed to continue in their roles? What do you think?